Welcome to In the Bay Ridge Trader. I'm W. Ripito. The first check that we're doing in test before touch is checking for the light. If the TPMS light turns on and turns off, that means your TPMS system is fully functional. If you turn the vehicle to the on position and the TPMS light turns on and it stays on solid, that means one or more of your tires is below the door placard pressure. If you turn the vehicle on and the TPMS light starts to flash, it will flash for approximately 30 to 90 seconds and then the light will stay on solid. That means you have a system malfunction. We're gonna turn the tool on. Test before touch is the first selection on the menu. We're gonna select a Ford, Escape, 2014, 2015. It puts us at the left front wheel position. We're gonna come over here and activate the sensor. Step number two and three, you can combine at the same time. You can inspect the cap and scan the sensor at the same time. We're scanning the left front sensor to verify that the sensor is functional. We're also removing the valve cap. If the valve cap is there and you can remove it. Okay. On the tool, we show that it's 36 PSI and it automatically moved me over to the right front. So what we found with this vehicle is you had one OE style cap, two non-sealing valve caps, and a flow through cap. Step number four, accessing the vehicle's computer. On some TPMS scan tools, the tool will prompt you to connect to the vehicle's computer or OBD2 port to download for any DTCs or diagnostic trouble codes pertaining to TPMS. Step number five is to review the audit report. It is the last step in the test before touch process. After service on the vehicle is completed, a printout of a detailed health check will be provided. The report shows the status of the TPMS system. Using this report, you're able to verify and show to your customer that the system was working correctly or not working correctly before any service was performed on the vehicle.